Thanks for joining us today here at RoofSnap. We're going to look at importing blueprint imagery today. Specifically, we're um, on an Android version of RoofSnap here um, on a Samsung device. Uh, and as you can see here, we're in the project screen. I'm going to go ahead, Katrina, and uh, just create a new project for the purpose of importing this blueprint or architectural drawing. Yeah. Uh, so let's go ahead. I'm just going to name it Blueprint. Okay. And we're going to put it into our demo office here. You may only have one office to worry about. So uh, with regard to the customer job site info, um, we're importing the imagery, so we don't absolutely have to put in an address. But I would recommend uh, that you, of course, put in the name and the address of the project that you're going to be working on. You can add billing information, of course, down here as well, and uh, insurance details if that's applicable. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just tap on the Done button and create that project without an address. Okay. And go right into the sketch scene by tapping on that sketch tile. Perfect. And this is typically where you would um, find the aerial <coughs> image of the roof when you enter in that address. It's mm -hmm. going to take us into our current location. Yeah. And you noticed I allowed it to access my GPS location and it brought us here on our office building. But instead of worrying about this imagery that we're seeing right now, I'm actually going to go and tap the Import button and allow RoofSnap to access the photos on my device. I'm going to go right into my photos library. And here at the top, we should have a nice architectural drawing. This is just kind of a standard residential roof. It's obviously under construction. And so we're going to be working on building the measurements here from the blueprints. Now, this blueprint is spectacular for using in RoofSnap because there are so many measurements right on the roof section of the architectural drawing. Ideal. What we've done here is we've actually just taken a screenshot of this page of the blueprints mm -hmm. um, and that created the image file that we saved right into our camera roll, right into our photos library on our device. Gotcha. Because um, we don't need the full set of prints. We can't import a PDF. Right. It has to be, I believe, a JPEG or a PNG. Mm -hmm. And when you take that screenshot, um, that's the easiest way to just to get a single image of just the section of drawings that we need here um, to, to, to measure it in RoofSnap. Yeah, absolutely. Now, some blueprints will have a scale, maybe down at the bottom. Uh, there's no specific scale on this, but if you've got you know, a, a line where uh, one quarter of an inch equals one foot or something like that, maybe it'll actually have um, a full scale that you can grab the scale from. Mm -hmm. uh, but let me show you exactly how that works. Now, on this one, we want to use the longest scale line. If I knew the total length of this lower um, Eve section here, mm -hmm. I'd want to use that. You know, say it's 40, 45 feet long, something mm -hmm. along those lines. Gotcha. But on this one, the longest one that we have is this, uh, this measurement here that's 17 feet 2 inches. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is just kind of bring that zoomed in so I've got that 17 to kind of almost the full width of the screen. And then I'm going to flip over here at the bottom to the scale. Mm -hmm. From here, when I put my finger on the screen, it actually does give us a cursor. And it's kind of like drawing lines in, in um, the regular sketch scene. I start here at the left where that 17-2 uh, begins. Okay. And I bring it all the way over. And you want to be dead on. So take a second, make sure you're right at the intersection where it ends, and then tap on the screen. And it's going to ask you the length of the line. Gotcha. Now, it's 17 feet 2 inches, so we're going to convert that to a decimal. So 17 feet and 2 inches is 0 0.17. Mm -hmm. So we've got 17.17. Perfect. And then we'll go ahead and tap on the OK button. And now it's going to save this image into our sketch scene to scale. Perfect. So just to kind of show you real quick, I'll redraw out that 17.17 17 uh, line. And we can see the length of the line as we draw. And when we get all the way out there, 17 point it's right one. over it. And if I go a little further, two, so it's dead on. Perfect. Now from here, you would go ahead and just begin to um, sketch the outline and the um, internal lines of the roof, just like you would in any other drawing. Mm -hmm. So we can see that that eave there is 21.2 feet long. And from there, you would just draw the roof out uh, like it was any other project. Mm -hmm.